Hi there, I'm Ithya for Advices Media and this is the Moto E Android smartphone and we have been uploading a few different videos around the Moto E which was uh, including the unboxing, the first hands-on and uh, for your information this is the first uh, KitKat smartphone at uh, this price range available from a Taiwan brand and uh, we thought that uh, why not give uh, some kind of stress test or a torture test on the Moto E and that's the reason we started off with a small series of tests which included a splash test because the device comes with a nano coating which is actually going to ensure that if you spill some water over the device it won't uh, create an issue and you can just uh, remove the water over the device and uh, that's the reason we started off with the spill test and then uh, following that we went ahead with a few drop tests, a scratch test wherein uh, it's not just with one single key, we tried with many different keys and then because most of the time you would keep the phone in your pocket and uh, the phone would uh, get a lot of scratches so we tested that too since it comes with the Koning Kevlia Glass 3 display it didn't create any issues but, but finally when we came up with the underwater test there was a kind of surprise so you can check out the following video to know more about the sim so without further ado let's proceed with the video so the first thing which we are going to do is that uh, we are going to do the scratch test wherein we are going to do a few scratches on the device front by using this uh, key Actually most of the times you would keep the smartphone in your pocket with a few keys or uh, something sharp like a key or a few coins which is actually a metallic item and uh, when you do a scratch test you can actually know if the device uh, display or the back panel is actually durable or not. So we kept the screen on and uh, we tried to write down a few times on the screen and literally there were no scratches thanks to the Corning uh, Gorilla Glass uh, display and uh, which actually kept this device uh, completely safe so you don't have to worry about normal scratches even when we put some light on this area we couldn't find any issues with the display and uh, the same was the thing when we did with a bunch of keys so overall uh, when you say about the scratch test this device actually won the test and uh, there was no issues as such following this we went ahead with the spill test because uh, that is something which moto has actually announced that uh, the device won't have any issues with a little bit of water spilled over it and uh, when we did this test we started pouring a little bit of water over the device even though the headphone jack is always open on the top of the phone and uh, when you pour a little bit of water the screen would always still be on though there would be some random taps on the screen uh, because of the water touching the display and uh, when we quickly wiped off the water the device was perfectly working and uh, there were no issues as such as you can clearly see in this uh, demo it starts working right away and uh, there was no issue I did feel that there was some minor issue with the part of the screen but that was just a confusion and actually there was no issue. When we even poured the water again and tried to use the device uh, below under water it was still working fine. This is uh, something on the lines of the Xperia Z which was launched uh, two years back which was also water resistant and uh, this device is almost able to take the load which the Moto G also had taken easily. So overall uh, when you talk about the spill test. I think that the device would work perfectly and as you can see the camera is also running perfectly. Now it's time for the third test which is the drop test. Most of the time you may drop it for a smartphone and we have Chetan here who is doing the demo of the same. So when you're speaking you may drop the phone and the best part was that the back panel actually came out right away and uh, there was no damage on the device itself because it's made out of plastic on the sides and the back. While on the front since it's a very uh, sturdy device uh, in terms of the Corning Gardner glass. There were no scratches, there were no dents, nothing as such when the device uh, fell from around uh, 4 to 5 feet of height and uh, it worked perfectly. So next time what we did was we actually kept the phones uh, face down and dropped the phone and uh, again there were no issues as such. The device actually handled this uh, major drop and uh, the Gorilla Glass worked perfectly. And now in the final torture test we went ahead and uh, dropped the phone with the screen on and video recording on into our aquarium because uh, we did the same test with the Sony Xperia Z1 which was actually a water resistant and uh, device and it worked flawlessly and recorded the whole video so we want to do something different rather than just keeping it again uh, within a bowl because uh, you may not uh, do that all the time but something uh, like this can happen like let's say you may drop your phone uh, into a uh, 
water body or some kind of water container and uh, that's the reason we want to test this and the moment we place the phone inside this uh, aquarium you can see that the screen got off and then there were bubbles coming out which means that the water was actually going inside and the phone actually went dead so that was kind of surprising for us and uh, that's the result of this uh, Moto G torture test that it passed the first three tests and then finally under the water it actually went dead so guys this was the torture test which we performed on the Moto E Android smartphone and it was kind of interesting again Motorola never mentioned that this is a waterproof or water resistant device they just mentioned that is a device which would uh, handle some water spills and uh, we continued with this test because actually the Moto G had uh, lasted when we tested the same for a few minutes within underwater and uh, we didn't even place it under the water we just placed it uh, inside the aquarium to just start off and it went dead instantly and it's not even booting up right now so that's the status of this uh, Moto E torture test let us know in the comment section if you have any queries around this device and we'll be happy to assist you on the same and uh, keep pouring in your comments on how you would like us to torture these devices and uh, on a day-to-day -day basis or real life uh, how you would be access using these devices so we would know what should be the next experiment we would be performing on the upcoming smartphones so this was the Moto E torture test don't forget to share this video on your social networks if you like this video and don't forget to add a thumbs up and subscribe to Advices Media for more thank you